Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a review on this RC116 scale Back to the Future time machine, the DeLorean car. So check this out. All right, so I'm going to show you around the box before I take out the car out of the box. Okay, and right here, you can see there's a battery and there's a check. So it's rechargeable, USB, that's how you recharge it. And then right here, it says Turbo Boost. Okay, there's a button that gives it uh, extra power goes faster and right here it says try me lights up so that's this button right here okay so when you push it it lights up like the uh, almost like the real car right <laughs> well actually like the movie car right uh and then right here time machine rc back to the future okay and made by jada i think that's how you pronounce it okay and right here just the uh the logo back to the future and right here from the back okay same thing time machine rc and a picture of how the control looks like and some other information right here okay you can charge it to your computer from your computer laptop or game console and other ways that you can charge it and right here on the bottom it says play up to eight vehicles so i think eight vehicles can play at the same time without interfering with the radio control and then right here it says longer range up to 100 feet okay and then here on the side the same thing logo back to the future okay all right so now i'm going to take it out of the box Right, so here's the rc time machine out of the box and in the box i got this sticker that says big bad toy store and that's because this is the place where i ordered the rc all right and this instruction booklet that looks like a newspaper okay it's very big and a lot of information here a lot of warnings too cautions okay and right here in the back okay more information and that's pretty much it with that. Okay, and here's the control, very tiny, very small. Okay, and here's the boost button right here. Okay, and that's pretty bad that this, the screen right here actually is not a screen, it's a sticker. Okay, it would have been nice if this was actually a functioning screen that would show the numbers when you went forward. It, it will tell the, the numbers, okay, just like the movie. But it's not, so it's, actually a sticker so that's really bad that you know um, at least they should have tried to do something to make it look more realistic to the remote control on the movie so but right now it's just a sticker so um uh the control feels you know pretty uh toy gray rc uh very cheap okay and of course it's not proportional okay which is really bad um i wish that uh this kind of toys rc they would have made it uh proportional uh, at least you know uh, but no it's not proportional and this screen right here is also a sticker so it doesn't work okay and of course here this is just a sticker too so it's not gonna measure nothing okay and from the back right here um it has this uh, little thing right here that you pull Okay, which I'm going to pull right now. And that's because there's batteries inside already installed. So that's really nice. Okay. And right here, the uh, the control already is on. So um, now I don't see no switch uh, to uh, to turn it off. So, so I guess there must be a timer that if you leave the control without using it, it just shuts down after a few minutes. And to turn it on, I think... It's just by pressing the boost button. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for the light to turn off. Let's see what happens. And 
it's just blinking right now. Okay, so maybe it's just a minute that you just gotta leave it. Okay, it went off, so I imagine right now it's off. So to turn it on, I guess just push the boost button. Okay, yeah, I guess that's how uh, you turn it on. And um, all right, so, okay, so that's the control, okay. Now, let's check out the uh, the DeLorean, okay, this RC car, 116 scale. So um, one of the things I, I just noticed right now is that right here, maybe you can see it, uh, right here in the hood, um, for some reason, there's like a shadow right here. I don't know if the phone is ping it, picking it up, uh, but right here it looks like there was maybe like a logo or like a sticker there or something but it looks like there's a shadow right there so hopefully uh, the camera picks it up and from my point of view it looks a little bit scratch like if it got removed but I'm not sure so I don't like that and it feels pretty pretty light uh, doesn't feel so heavy okay and here's the uh, not the antenna, but this is the uh, the rod that in the movie you see. Okay, so it just goes in this hole right here. And then right here, you press this button. Okay, and it lights up. Okay, so very nice. Okay, most of all the uh, die casts, you push a button and they, they do the same thing. So right there from this view. Okay, very nice. Okay, and um here how here's how it looks from the back okay right there out of time okay and it's also a sticker okay very nice not bad okay from how it looks overall okay and the tires the tires they uh they are rubber okay um not so hard it's not that type of hard plastic it feels a little bit gummy, not not too much, but uh, it does feel rubbery. Okay, that's on the tire, and it's plastic. Everything is plastic. Uh, the majority is plastic, and here in the back, okay, you have this um, this lever to to adjust the steering, which is already I could tell it's a little bit crooked. It's not center. Okay, and okay, very simple. Okay, uh, set up right here. Okay, and right here you have um, the compartment. Okay, where you charge, you pull this cable and you charge it to your computer, uh, USB port. Okay, and so the battery is inside. So I hope it lasts a long time, the battery. Okay, because it's inside and you know, you don't want to be opening the RC and replacing the battery soon. So hope it lasts long, long time. Okay, and here's the switch, the on off switch. And let me turn it on. Okay, and it's already, uh, I think there must be, uh, um, I don't know how much charge there is in the, in the RC, but it already has some charge. So right there, it's already on. Okay, and here's the uh, the motor on the back. Okay, and it's locked. The differentials are locked because you can tell that both uh, wheels are spinning when I spin one, so they're locked. Okay, most RCs, uh, high quality RCs, when you spin a wheel, the other wheel goes the other way. Okay, so that means it's not locked, the differential. So, okay, so that's that, all right. So I'm going to put this back and I'm going to try to right now uh, turn on the control to show you, okay, uh, how it works. Okay, and let's check this out. All right, so here's the, um, okay, so I'm going to turn it on. I guess just push the button, the boost. So it should already be connected to the to the car i was gonna say truck but no the the car okay so uh to go forward let me move it this way so you can see okay so push forward okay it's not going forward okay right here 
All right, how come it's not going? Okay, all right, let's see. It should be on. Okay, now the light is not on. Okay, there we go, okay. So, hmm, I don't know why it didn't wanna run. Okay, there we go, okay. So it looks like maybe there's also a, uh, a automatically maybe it does turn off like after a while. Like the same thing with the control. If you're not using the uh, the control, maybe uh, since the control turns off by itself, maybe the RC does the same thing, but I don't think so. So uh, I'm not sure. So so right now it actually, okay. Okay, well, well right now it, it is buying. So um, I don't know what, what happened there. So, all right, so there we go. So let's see. Um, okay, so forward, very simple. Okay, push forward, okay, and it goes forward, push back, and it goes back. The steering, mm, okay, you can hear that uh, noise right there. Okay, very loud noise. Okay, and to the right. Mm, right now I just noticed uh, when I steer to the right, it's, it, it, it kind of like did turn, but at the same time kind of struggle. Okay right there you can see struggling well it, it kind of struggles uh sometimes so right there is struggle right there a little bit struggling so um i don't know what's going on but um i don't like how it's completely steering okay and okay so that's the steering and that noise is very loud so let's check this out okay from here Okay, right there you can see. Okay, all right, and let me see how much pressure the steering has. So I'm gonna put my finger here. Okay, all right, it feels pretty strong. Okay, okay, that's good because you know you don't wanna uh, hit an obstacle and get stuck. So that's pretty good. So uh, and here's the uh, the boost button. So let me see what happens when I press it. Okay, so automatically the uh, RC uh, goes forward and the lights turn on. So that's pretty nice. So that's a very uh, nice feature that, okay, you push the boost button and it lights up uh, like, like in the movie, almost. <laughs> All right, so right there, okay. So now I don't know how fast this RC goes. I really don't know. Let me hold it in my hand. And I'm gonna push the button right here. Okay, wow, it sounds pretty loud, okay. Right there. Okay, and if I just go forward, okay. It kinda sounds like it goes the same speed. So uh, I have to test it out outside to, to check. Okay, so this is uh, just the lever forward. Okay, and here's the boost with the lights so i i really like this uh feature pushing the boost boost uh boost button and uh having the rc lights uh light up uh with the car okay very nice i can only imagine that at night time it's going to look really cool all right so um so that's pretty pretty nice overall not bad i mean for the price of this rc not bad uh, the price, um, it, it was, uh, I got it for $29 and, uh, online. So not bad for it. So, and that's the price when I, uh, I order it. So, uh, and also the price, I don't know how much is, is it right now, but, uh, that's the price when I'm, you know, at the time of this video. So in the future, it might change. So, um, so not bad for the, for the price. Um, and you know, uh, it's not a expensive RC, uh, but I think that it would have been way nicer, uh, to have these doors open, uh, because right now some of the, uh, RCs right now, um, that are out there that are toy gray, the doors open and you can see the interior. So that's really nice that some companies they're doing that because now, uh, since everything, uh, the electronics, they're more compact, more small. Uh, you can actually make make um, make the RC 
have the servo, the electronics uh, into um, uh, have it smaller and be able to have the doors open in the in the car. So, so uh, that's too bad that they didn't do that with this RC. It would have been really, really nice to have those doors open, you know, and um, and then also no lights. That's another bad thing that, um, you know, I see with this RC that it would have been really nice to have these lights work, you know. Um, I know that uh, a lot of people who collect this type of uh, RCs, especially Back to the Future, um, I'm one of them who uh, we really would like to see a, a really good, nice RC um, DeLorean time machine with the lights, uh, smoke, you know, with a lot of details, uh, with a lot of features. And I know that we would uh, pay the price for that. Uh, I know that if uh, this is just, it's not um, so expensive, I know the price, okay, you get what you pay, you know, how they say that. Um, but I know that if uh, if somebody out there makes a, a really good quality RC, then I know that a lot of people who, who like this type of RCs, they'll pay the money to 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 have one, uh, to collect one. So, so, you know, I think that Jada had an opportunity to make this a really cool collectible RC, um, but I think they missed it. So um, maybe in the future they can come out with a, uh, a better RC, um, you know, overall better RC DeLorean car. Uh, but right now, uh, uh, you know, it's um, not bad. You know, um, in my opinion, I, I think it could have been way better and you know but right now I, I guess it's still a collectible i mean it's nice to have it in the collection and but it would have been it would have been very nice to have more features to make it a really really uh valuable and really uh good collectible car so like especially the the headlights it would have been really nice to to make that work to have those lights turn on with the remote control so um so right there and so that's one thing that they miss. So that's uh, my opinion. I am going to add it to my collection. So very nice. Now to charge the RC, this is very interesting because I never seen this before. You have to have it on the on charge right there on the right side, it says on charge. Okay, so I'm going to push, push it to the right and right there, now it's charging. And when it's fully charged, the red light is going to be solid red. All right, so I'm here outside in the outdoors, right here with my cat. <laughs> he wants to play with the RC DeLorean. <laughs> okay, so the RC is fully charged and uh, I'm going to go ahead and test it here in the concrete to see how it performs. Okay, and let's see. All right. Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty fast. Okay, and the steering, since it's not proportional, is uh it turns really quick okay right there okay so that's the the problem with the steering that since it's not proportional you have to pretty much just be careful because it just wants to turn it makes uh it makes very sharp turns okay so you know like i said it would be nice if it was uh proportional so but very fast okay the throttle is really fast oh okay Okay, careful little kitty. All right. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to try the uh, the lights, the uh, the boost. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go the other way. Okay, right here. And I'm going to, uh, to start from here. Okay, let's see. Okay, right there. Okay, and I'm going to go uh, full throttle and push the, uh, the boost at the same time. Okay. All right, okay, I did it wrong. I'm going to try again. Okay, I'm gonna start from right here. Okay, right there, okay. So, th full throttle and then the boost. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, all right. I, uh, I'm gonna try it again, because for some reason it didn't, it didn't stay on. Okay, so right there, when I push the, push the, uh, the boost, Okay, right there, it does. 
it does light up, okay? But for some reason, when I do the uh, the throttle and then push the boost, oh, there we go. Okay, I guess I just have to uh, hold it uh, longer and press harder. So, okay, so I just have to uh, pretty much play with it. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> it flipped over. Okay, so I guess now it's scratch. Okay, it was a little bit scratch when I opened the box. Now it's more scratch, maybe. So, uh, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna try again right here. Give it full throttle and then push and hold the boost button right there. Okay, nice. All right, that looks very nice. Okay, all right, really fast. Oh, it goes really quick. Okay, I just, uh, but I do notice that the the lights, they do go on, but then they uh, turn off. So I guess maybe because, um, okay, now, now it's working, okay. So I guess I was not holding the, um, the boost button. I was not holding it. Oh, okay, I crashed over there in the rocks. Okay, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go get it now. All right, so here I go again. Let's see how it performs. Okay, so I'm going to push the throttle and boost at the same time okay and the light didn't came on okay and let's try again all right okay i'm just gonna push the boost button okay and okay now i realize it's much easier to uh to just push and hold the boost button to keep those lights the blue lights on so that's what i noticed is uh it's much easier that way okay because uh, pushing the throttle and the boost at the same time is kind of hard, but um, um, it's easier just pushing the boost button, and that that's gonna that's gonna keep the the lights on the blue lights. Okay, all right. So just gotta play with it. Uh, play with the RC. You know. Oops. Oh, almost crashed. Oh, well, I actually did crash. Okay. So right there. Okay. All right, not bad. So it looks really cool at nighttime. Okay, making those uh, donuts. Okay. All right, nice. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, and if you like this type of video, please hit, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. That helps support my channel by subscribing. So thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. All right, so let's see if this RC can go into the future.